I'm Kalina Sedge, and I'm here with freshman hockey goalie Hayden Levine. Thanks so much for coming. We're really happy to have you in the studio today. Thank you. Um, and I was just wondering, so how's it been finally settling down at Michigan after moving around for a couple of years? Yeah, it's definitely been a change. Um, it's kind of nice to know that I'm going to be in one spot for four years now instead of moving around based, basically every six months at the time it was. Um, so it's just kind of reassuring to know that I'm going to get to stay here and not have to move around a whole lot. Definitely. Uh, what's the transition been like, playing hockey at the collegiate level versus at the juniors level? Yeah, the skill level wasn't so much like an adjustment, but the competition level is way up. Everyone's fighting for their positions, which changes it a lot. Um, and then adding school in there and balancing that was really different versus where I was just playing juniors, kind of getting to just play hockey for two years and not worry about academics. So the initial like grace period of kind of learning how to balance both those was really difficult. And is it different being in the U.S. or are you kind of used to it after you're being from Ontario? Is it, are you used to it after being? Yeah, in the no, USHL? I've been here long enough that it's kind of it's not really an issue anymore. Mm -hmm. Everyone says I have an American accent, <laughs> but then here everyone still says I have a Canadian accent, so I'm somewhere <laughs> in between. And I have to ask, how did you feel when Canada lost to USA in World Juniors? Still mixed emotions about that. So let's be quiet. Um, <laughs> no, it was okay. It was kind of nice because our teammate, obviously Joseph Ciccone, was there. So it was ha like mixed emotions. Right. Sad because Canada lost, but at the same time, it was really cool to see him win a gold medal. And so you've wanted to come to Michigan for a while, actually. And being from Canada, how did you choose Michigan? My dad actually is a really big football fan. He's really into college football versus the NFL. Um, so when I was little and we would play tournaments down here in Michigan, he always wanted to drive by the campus. And I guess it just kind of rubbed off me. And I, my mom says when I was six years old, I said that I was going to be a Wolverine <laughs> or go to Harvard. So you know, one of those two. Glad you chose Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> me too. And so there's been quite a bit of twists and turns on your journey to Michigan. How has that shaped you into the player you are today? Yeah, I think it really just kind of taught me like to deal with adversity and that not everything's going to come easy. A lot of players that have that really high skill level kind of get by on that their whole life. Um, and some guys like Connor McDavid that takes him to the NHL. I think I realized that as a goalie and for me a lot of it is going to be hard work and kind of getting past those like mental barriers. And so those two years of ups and downs really taught me how to deal with that. In your debut you had a shutout. You're one of only four Wolverines in the last 35 years to do that so that's a pretty big deal. Yeah, that was really <laughs> exciting. Yeah, how was your mindset going onto the ice versus coming off the ice after that big win? The first 10 minutes of the game I was just super nervous. I was just kind of shaking in my skates, didn't really know what to expect. The rink obviously is super loud for the first home game. Um, after the first couple shots I really just calmed down and that was like kind of the saving grace. I was like, okay, I can do this. And then the team played well in front of me that night, which was obviously a huge help. And what are you hoping to improve on for the rest of the season and the rest of your career here at Michigan? I think obviously it's just consistency through the, like throughout the four years. I've showed that I can come out and kind of compete. I think if I can do that every single night, then that's going to carry me and hopefully the team to a national championship. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much. Good luck with the rest of your upcoming season. And next we have Carissa Martin talking and joking around with a few of the Michigan men's basketball stars.